Having problems with your Roku device? Or perhaps maybe you're going to be giving it to someone else. Well, before you do that, you need to do a factory reset. So here we are on the home screen of the Roku, and we're going to just go down here to settings. And under settings, we're going to go down to system. And under system, we're next going to go to advanced system settings and there's your option right there factory reset okay we're going to go ahead and put in the code that's showing at the bottom here eight six three five i'm going to hit ok and it's going to tell you right now that you're about to do a factory reset and this will completely erase the device and take it back to the factory reset settings as if you had just purchased it. So this is a good way to just completely wipe everything and sort of start over if you're, if you're having any technical issues or perhaps you're going to be giving the device to, a, to another person. That way you're not logged in with all of your apps. Okay, the device has been factory reset. And there we go. It is now booting back up. And momentarily we should be back into the settings so that we can set this up once again as a new device okay there we go so now you're going to go through the initial setup that you did when you first purchased the device we're going to go ahead and select english and then this is where you're going to select your wi-fi network Okay, we have a good wireless connection. We are now connected to the internet. And then the device will tell you if there are any updates available. So we're going to go ahead and do a quick software update on the device. This is always important to keep things secure and working correctly. It is very important while the update is being performed that you do not disconnect anything. This can actually damage your device. So do not unplug the power to your TV or to your Roku. Okay, the update is complete and we should just about be done with the setup. Okay, there we go. The Roku device is updated to the latest software version. We're going to go ahead and select continue. And this is where you need to sign in if you have an existing Roku account or create a new account. So we're going to go ahead and enter an email address here. Okay, and then you're going to get an activation email within the next 30 minutes. Go ahead and click that Activate Device button in your email, and you will be taken to your web browser to complete the Roku setup. You can give it a device name and a location. You want to go ahead and check that box to agree to the terms of use and click Continue. And then from here, it's just going to be a matter of customization and putting in your preferences. There's some questions on here that will help tailor the device to your likings. You can skip those or you can click OK. We're going to answer these few quick questions. You can go ahead and put anything that you subscribe to like Netflix or Apple TV or Max or Prime Video, Hulu, and it'll go ahead and add those apps to your Roku for you automatically. Then it's just about selecting your type of taste and different things. Movies, music, education, comedy, pop culture, news. You select what you like, and the Roku will help tailor the device to your preferences. Then there's different add-ons you can put on there like Tubi TV and Spectrum and ABC News, all of these different apps you can apply. And of course, you can add all of these later. You don't have to do it right now. Once that is done, you can go ahead and do some free trials if you wish. I'm going to go ahead and just scroll to the bottom and skip past all of this. And we're going to go ahead and continue on past that. And now the setup is complete. And we will go back to the Roku device now. Now that we've selected everything from the website, 
that has communicated down to the Roku, and the Roku is now setting itself up, getting all of the necessary apps. If you have a good Wi-Fi connection, this should only take a couple of minutes. There you go. We are now all done. So on the remote, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And here we are at our home screen. So it's as simple as that. It's went ahead and added some of my favorite apps that I previously selected through the website setup. And everything is there. And of course, you'll have to sign into those accounts. But that's how you factory reset and then go through the initial setup on a Roku device. Thanks for watching.